Hey guys, welcome back to More Than A House. On this episode, we are gonna take you on a tour of our brand new Airbnb. Alright guys, so here we are in a freshly renovated Airbnb, um, a little shack that we have taken on only a little over a year ago and we're finally open for bookings. So we thought we'd give you all a grand tour, but yeah, let's have a look inside first and show you what we've been up to. Once you walk in the front door, this is our living space, small but cosy. Um, here we've got our little ring, little hangout area, just... Um, we just wanted to, to feel a little bit cosy and nice with the view. You can sit down and relax. Um, then we got our lounge. We got this massive couch so the whole family can fit. Because um, we're kind of targeting like small families, little groups of friends and couples. So we want everything to be nice and comfortable for everyone. We did this uh, Last weekend I painted this um, marker on the wall um, just to let everyone know how where the flood water sat. Um, we just thought that'd be a nice little interesting thing to add. So if you haven't um, been following the whole journey, last Christmas we got flooded. So it's been a year since we were underwater. So we thought we'd put this little marker in so people can see where the water was. Uh, there is a video on that if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, we've got TV, Wi-Fi, um, everyone's been loving our doors, how they come out, bit fun, cute, um, yeah, so we've got orange door, orange room, so in here is our, uh, couple's room, I guess, you've got the river view, look straight out, but we've also got blinds if you want some privacy, um, yeah, nice comfy bed. We've got koala mattresses, which is super comfy. They're my favourite. Um, yeah, a little bit of storage, but not nothing crazy. <laughs> it is a tiny room. So coming in, now we've got our bedroom blue. And slightly bigger. This one, um, we're going to select three. We've got a bunk for some kids. One kid, probably. Um, and then a queen bed at the bottom. Again, we've got the nice koala mattresses, so they're super comfy. We created a little workspace um, just because some people need to do work. Um, yeah, and like we said, we got the Wi-Fi. This room's got an aircon, so be nice and cool. Yeah, we still got to put up the blinds, but we will get to that. And each bedroom has a wall fan. Every room in the house, basically. Um, so yeah, and we got plenty of insulation for summer. Uh, this little table I got on Marketplace. Um, and these chairs, I've always loved these chairs, they're so comfy. Um, they were probably my first thing I brought for this place. Way back, way before the flood. <laughs> so I've been dying to get them out. But um, yeah. This is the kitchen. Um, those who were watching early days, this house had no kitchen plumbing. Basically one light, it was... Um, needed a full restoration before we started. So yeah, we got a dishwasher, we got an oven, stove top. Um, yeah, everything a little family or friends would need just to hang out. We got this cool old stove. Um, we're just using it for decoration, but maybe in winter we'll get it working for heat. Um, I think that'd be a cool addition if Mark will do it. <laughs> but yeah, Mark did this little LED lighting, so if you're cooking or you don't want the full lights on, they're just perfect little additions so you can see what you're doing a bit closely. Yeah, it's all come out really good. Um, also, we got this 
We got a coffee machine because we love coffee and nothing worse than you go stay somewhere and it's only instant coffee. Um, so yeah, it's a bean to cup machine, so no pods, so good for the environment, etc. <laughs> <laughs> Flashback. End of flashback. Because that's what it's all about. <laughs> and just quickly, this is my favourite seat in the entire house. For whoever gets this corner seat, they have the best of both worlds. They can see the whole kitchen and they can see right out to the lagoon. And it's the best spot. Video on the bathroom. I haven't posted it yet, but let's go check it out. Yeah, plenty of pressure. Uh, we did this um, metal splashback, uh, which we painted in our feature colors. We'll feature color the green, which we got from the stove. Um, all our colour scheme come from that stove basically. I love the colour of that and then I just made, picked a colour that worked really well with it. Um, so yeah, Mark made all this vanity, the sink. He didn't make the sink, he yeah, <laughs> put it all together, works a treat. Um, yeah, so in here we're running on river water but filtered river water. Um, so all we say is if you're going to brush your teeth and stuff, just use a bottle of water, which we will obviously provide. Now this cute little ladder, um, was already here at the house and I really wanted to use it in a added feature somewhere and it just works perfectly as a little towel rack, um, yeah, which will be handy. Okay. So after the job, I'll give you the guys the tour of the yard, but we can't go out there because it's so windy. It actually doesn't look that windy, but on camera, it's you can't hear me talking. So we're gonna talk from here. But we done a lot of work out here. Um, this was more of a native sort of looking, sort of scrubby sort of backyard. Um, there was a garden shed and a garden bed and you couldn't really um, make the most of the view. So we got rid of all that. We leveled it all out the best we could. Um, we spent many days, many hours, uh, lots of time out here clean this place up um, to getting it level to this area. We used, we utilized all the rocks that were already here to make, like to border all the garden beds that weren't already bordered. And then we rolled out 450 square meters of rollout turf from the local turf guy, Maryland Turf. And um, there was days spent um, setting up all the irrigation and everything so this stays nice and lush. And now we're a couple months in and it's booming. There's definitely a few little bits I need to tweak, but um, it's due for a moment. But um, yeah, we we wanted this yard to look just like it does, pretty much. This nice, beautiful lawn right down to the water. And um, yeah, we're stoked with it. In addition to that, we also put in a deck. Um, there was nothing down here. So we've ended up with a deck of about, I should have even measure, I think it's like three meters by seven. So a decent sized deck out here. Um, enough room for a little outdoor setting. We might eventually put a little um, sunbed out there or like a little sort of sun couch. And um, of course we've got our little barbecue area. We've got a Weber queue, brand new Weber queue, so people can cook up a storm outside as well. We just made a um, quick barbecue station with some leftover pallets that we had from the jobs. And also um, only last week we put up this sunshade sale. So um, this has been a massive plus because before you couldn't bear to sit out there in the um, middle of the day, even it was in the mid twenties, it's really warm up here in the Riverland and the sun is brutal. So um, that has been a, an awesome addition and um, it obviously it serves its purpose, but also it looks really good from the front as well. So um, that's pretty much it for outside. We've got our little, um, it's just not it at all, we've got more. Um, in addition to that, we've got a little fire pit down there. So people can uh, obviously in the non fire band seasons, you can, have a fire, roasted marshmallows, um, awesome winter's nights spent out there. We also have um, the little swing chair in the tree, um, plenty of different points where you can just sit back, relax, and totally take in this view because 
this I tell you is one of the best views we get the the wildlife the birds the pelicans the black swans is just amazing we get plenty of kookaburras kingfishers all that sort of stuff we get so much bird life through here and then once the sun starts going down in the evening it glows those uh, cliffs up bright orange and um, we get purple orange and um, pink skies yeah it's a really really nice place to spend your time so just like that we are live on airbnb um yeah, it's a bit scary, exciting, a lot of mix of emotions. We think we're ready. Um, there's a little bit to do behind the scenes, a few little bits and pieces, which we'll be doing in the coming weeks. Um, but as we said, the bookings are open as of right now. Um, and yeah, if you wanna jump on and check out the ad, you can click the link below. We'll put all the details in the description. Um, check out the listing um, and just have a look, have a, have a browse even if you have no intention of staying. Uh, also do us a favour if you are registered for Airbnb, even if you can't stay, just wish list the property because it does yeah, help. Yeah, little heart. Yeah, give it the little heart. It gives, it's almost the same as our videos. If you like the video, it does help the channel grow and also helps the advert grow. Um, Airbnb will recognise that people want to stay here mm -hmm. and it will help push our listing and it will help us greatly. So um, if anyone wants to jump on right now, check it out and does want to stay, we have got the first three. Yeah, first three is at a discount. But the first six months we put out a discount as well. Um, yeah. We've got a pretty entry level price because we're just finding our feet. So if anyone wants, wants to come and stay, check out the listing and um, yeah, we'd be more than happy to welcome you to our little home. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching another episode. This is a very important one to us um, just to be at the end of, uh, projects um, obviously like I said we got the bathroom video we got a few videos we still got to put out but we've just been so consumed trying to get this done that we haven't had time to edit them and do all that side of it um, so yeah that's why we're here so quickly there'll be videos more to come with the journey um, yeah and some other projects we got some really cool projects gonna come up um, but yeah. <laughs> we get so much on the go. When we get to them, that's, that's yeah. another question. Mm. Alright, thanks guys. Right. See you on the upcoming episode. Thanks for Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. Yeah.